Rich Eisen's pick to win Sunday's big game, a.k.a. the Super Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, you know we had to do it to him. My official Super Bowl prediction pick preview, however you want to do it. This is going out Super Bowl Sunday. I hope you enjoy the day, the last game of the season. Ooh, man, it's crazy. You know, every season just goes by so fast. It's an absolute blur. Uh, and here we are, San Francisco, Kansas City, Brock Purdy, Patrick Mahomes, Let's get into it. Let's break down the entire game. What I think will happen, who I'm betting on, some props I like, all of that. Make sure to get in the comments below and let me know what you're betting on or what you like or what you would bet on if you're not in a... Of course, if you're not in a state with legalized gambling, I know everyone here is above above board, so hypotheticals only. A great week Oof. here in Las Vegas. It's now time to finally put up or shut up. Here we go. It's time for our game picks presented by TurboTax and Chris Brockman. You've heard oh, everybody over yes. the last two weeks since we have known so many since we have known who's going to play in this Super Bowl. Chris Brockman, you are first up. Your game pick for the big game is what? I love I'll go first. So when the number first popped, when Kansas City was plus three, I took a slice of KC. I took them there because I thought they would move. The line might, might move a little bit. I wanted to get the key number. I thought Patrick Mahomes plus three in a Super Bowl. Uh, I was hoping it would drop significantly into where I could maybe come back on San Francisco, like a money line type situation. It did drop immediately. It dropped to the Chiefs were almost a pick, but then now it's moved back up to Chiefs uh, at the time of recording, plus two and a half. So a little bit of value there, but I think at the end of the day, if I had to pick one of these two teams, aside from betting just who I think is going to win, I would pick the Chiefs. You know, you're, you're telling me I've got the better quarterback, the better defense, better coordinators. Uh, hard, hard to pass that up. I, I think Shanahan and Andy Reid is a bit of a stalemate, but I think Steve Spagnola and Steve Wilkes is a huge, 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 huge uh, boost for the Chiefs. You know, Spags is is lighting it up as a DC, and I think Wilkes is a little bit lost. I think San Francisco's defense isn't as good as people think it is. Uh, now, on the offensive side of the ball, I've said all year long, I don't think KC's offense is very good. I still don't think it's very good. I think their skill position players, aside from Travis Kelsey, are not very good at all. But, man, it's the same thing as we saw for 15 years or however long it was in New England. You just can't count the guy out. I mean, do I think do I think the wide receivers are terrible? Yeah. Do I think Patrick Mahomes could make me and four other guys that are walking around during Mardi Gras, could, could he make us viable receivers? I guess so. Same, same with Tom Brady, where every year, you know, Dion Branch or who, whoever the receiver was didn't really matter. It could be Wes Welker, could be Edelman, could be Moss, could be Branch, could be just some random person, could be a tight end, could be a, a defensive player playing tight end, whatever. Tom Brady's going to make it work. Patrick Mahomes is just inevitable. Patrick Mahomes is the new version of that to where you kind of have to throw everything out the window. It's Patrick Mahomes. It's the Chiefs. Very difficult to beat. I cannot. I honestly can't believe they're here. I cannot believe they're in the Super Bowl. Cannot believe they've done this. I can't believe they've gotten to this point all year long. I counted them out all year long. Uh, I said, scratch the Chiefs off. Scratch them off. They can't win. You can't win with an offense this pedestrian. Uh, and right now they are. They are. They're proving me wrong. Will the moment be too big for Brock Purdy and the Niners? I don't know. It's it's, it's hard to hard to tell how they'll come out and play. I think a lot of. The, I, I think this team has had a chip on their shoulder since last year's NFC title game. They've, you know, Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk and, and those players have come out and said they felt like they got robbed. They felt like they were better than the Eagles. They felt like they were playing with their fifth string quarterback or whatever. They weren't even playing with the quarterback. Christian McCaffrey was basically playing quarterback. So I think since then they have had a bit of an edge, a bit of a chip, uh, which 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 can, can do wonders. When you have that kind of motivation, you don't need extra motivation in the Super Bowl, but uh, I think they, they have it. So... Really interesting matchup. A lot of I have I've had a lot of people say these aren't the two best teams. I think right now, I think right now I'm fine with saying these these are the two best teams in the NFL. They're they're playing the best. Uh, were they the best all year long? Probably not. But throughout the playoffs, I, I'm I'm fine with saying okay, these are probably the two two teams that have played the best or two teams that are firing at the cylinders that we expect Super Bowl 
uh, competitors to be playing at. Love that both of these teams' fan bases think I hate them, which is fantastic. But that means you're now a bona fide <laughs> national Absolutely. broadcaster. Absolutely, I love it. I know how you're Joe, no longer an actor. That's right. I know how Joe Buck feels. Uh, I think it's high scoring, 30 to 24, and for the first time in almost 30 years, the San Francisco 49ers oh. are hoisting the Lombardi Trophy and Chris. So I guess we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll look at their picks and we'll kind of talk about the ways to victory. If the 49ers do win, especially if they win 30 to 24, they are going to have to dominate on the ground. Dominate. Dominate running the football. You can run on the Chiefs. Someone might want to tell Baltimore. Someone might want to mention that to Todd Munkin. The Chiefs defense is really good. It's an elite group. But you can run on them, right? You can get after them on the ground. The 49ers are going to want to do that. The problem with that is if the Chiefs get up, if the Niners make mistakes early, it's going to be hard to do that. So the Niners want to, and this is a Kyle Shanahan trope his entire career. He doesn't, he does not like being behind. Pause. He doesn't like playing from from behind. He he wants to be front running. He wants to have a lead. He wants to be, you know, dominating the trenches, dictating the pace, dictating the tempo. If he has to get out of his game plan and fight from behind, usually it's not very good. It's not not good results. So you'll know early. You know if if San Francisco goes up ten nothing, you know thirteen nothing. If, if they're leading at half or they're leading through the early part of the game, and Christian McCaffrey is able to get get uh, something on the ground, which he should, then San Francisco will have success. If KC gets up early, if it's the opposite, if it's ten nothing KC or fourteen nothing KC. It's hard for me to believe that Brock Purdy is going to throw them back into this game. Nothing against Brock Purdy. We have defended him, you know, relentlessly. But in this moment, it, th this is the kind of game where you'll know. You'll know really quick. KC's kind of the opposite. KC can do both. They, they're not the explosive Tyreek Hill version of KC. But if KC is down... Patrick Mahomes can still will you into a game. He can still get involved with Travis Kelsey. He can still get the most out of Rasheed Rice. He can still find a way to dig them out of, out of a hole and win the game. So if you're taking San Francisco, if you are backing San Francisco or you're rooting for them or however you want to phrase it, be looking early. Look early and, and I would say in the first, certainly the first half, but if they're up, you're feeling good about it. If they, if they're, even if it's tied, even if it's seven, seven, 10, 10, you know, somewhere in there, one possession game, either way, as long as they can still run their offense and do what they want to do and stay in that system, they can certainly have success. They are kind of a, they are kind of a problematic matchup for KC as long as they don't let the game get away from them. Shin McCaffrey is Super Bowl MVP. So you think the Niners are putting 30 up on the Chiefs defense? I think they run the ball. McCaffrey goes nuts. Two tutties. I mean, if y'all are hearing, I'm recording these videos in the middle of Mardi Gras. I mean, it is, it is the middle of, no, I'm not at a monster truck rally. No, this isn't Grave Digger about to crash through the side of my wall. This isn't, uh, I'm trying to think of another like big time monster truck. I feel like I'm at, I'm at a monster truck rally. I mean, it's unbelievable. This this is just what the city sounds like right now. And, I, and think about it. I'm in a studio. I got a microphone five inches from my face. And the, the semi-truck, monster truck thing going on is so loud that it's picking up in here. It's crazy. Mardi Gras is something different. 130 total yards, five, six catches. He does everything. TJ Jefferson, your game pick for the big game with an MVP choice is? Okay, well, you know, I could keep a secret based upon my Price is Right situation when I didn't tell anybody. And for seven months, I've been holding on to this. Oh, that's your script. You guys have wanted, it. and I didn't want to let the, the cat out of the bag, but I will now. It's the worst script ever. <laughs> <laughs> it started with Aaron Rodgers' Achilles <laughs> blowing up one, in five snaps. I'm going to say 23 17. What do you mean going to say? You say it's on the, a piece of paper. Well, I'm, yeah. The score okay. is going to be 23 to 17. Yeah, who's winning? The winning team will be the Chiefs of Kansas Six. City. Okay. And the MVP. I mean, look. How can so, I have a bet on Travis Kelsey to win MVP. Pretty substantial. I think he's, I think I got him 25 to 1, 20 to 1, something like that. Travis Kelsey is kind of inevitable too. He's very similar to Patrick Mahomes where teams know KC's going to him. Teams are are good at stopping the tight end. Still somehow allow him to get his. Travis Kelsey, I think, I mean, he obviously wants this game. It's obviously 
a huge pressure-packed moment for him. There, there might not be anybody on the field under as much pressure as Patrick Mahomes in this game. When you factor in the Taylor Swift stuff, when you factor in his own personal brand, when you factor in his legacy, when you factor in all the eyeballs that'll be on him, the fact that he has to also play in the Super Bowl, which is already just like the most eyeballs on any game possible, this is where the biggest stars shine. This is where the the best players put up. And I believe Tra- Travis Kelsey is one of, I, I think he's the greatest tight end to ever play. To ever play. I, I'll say it. I think he is the number one tight end to ever play in the NFL. He, he can just turn it on. You know, he's a guy where when the moment is big, when the moment is bright, he can deliver. I think he went, he will deliver. I think if KC wins, it has to be through the air. It has to be through him. And there's no one else on that offense that I trust. I don't trust Rasheed Rice. I don't trust uh, MVS. I don't trust Kadarius Toney. If, if his AI-generated Instagram is making posts, I don't know what he's doing. But if KC is going to win, if they're going to move the ball, if they're going to have success, it's going to be with Travis Kelsey. And if we have a similar performance of the AFC Championship game from Kelsey, which is like, what, 10 catches, 110 yards, a couple touchdowns, he will be the MVP. And you do kind of have to factor in the narrative, too, and you have a voting award like the MVP. They're going to push a narrative. So if they can, if they can push the narrative of the Chiefs won Travis Kelsey's MVP, possibly we see a Taylor Swift proposal, I think they will push that narrative. And I hope they do because I'll, 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 I will cash a very, very healthy ticket. So, And this is a good score for if the Chiefs do win. If the Chiefs do win, we can assume that they've corralled the San Francisco offense. They have held down uh, you know, Brock Purdy and Debo Samuel and Christian McCaffrey, and they've kind of dictated the pace. This does look like what the score could be. I could certainly see it beating 23-10 to 10 going into the fourth quarter. You know, The 49ers ha- are having difficulty running their offense because they're down a couple scores. They might get one late, an irrelevant touchdown or whatever to make it 23-17. But this, this, seems, this seems like what it could be. So th- this is pretty close to what I would predict, h- how I see the game flow going. Can you deny it? It's going to be Travis Kelsey. Oh. Oh. Now, does the script say, does he propose? Look, I can't Amongst give the confetti. everything out. Just wait. There's okay. two pages left. So. Well done. <laughs> yeah, just wait. So how, does, so how does Kelsey win the MVP and not Mahomes? Well, tra- I, people keep asking. This, 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 to me, is such an insane, it's so crazy because it's like, just go back one week or two weeks, I guess. If you go to the AFC title game, Travis Kelsey is the MVP. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs do not score a ton of points. They do not throw the ball all over the place. So if you tell me Patrick Mahomes has 240 yards passing with three touchdowns and two touchdowns with Travis Kelsey, or if Travis Kelsey has one touchdown and 10 catches and 110 yards, he's going to win the MVP. If he if he gets the bulk of it, he will win. He has a narrative behind him. He's got everything there. More than likely, he will be the focal point of the Chiefs offense. I think it's difficult to find a way that Patrick Mahomes wins because Patrick Mahomes has been relatively pedestrian numbers-wise, and it's hard to build that narrative. The only way I think Mahomes wins is if the game is a dead under. I'm talking like 17 to 17 to 9. No one else does anything, and Mahomes ends up with like you know 225 and three touchdowns, no picks. But but also spreads it around to where Kelsey has like five catches, 50 yards. You know, everyone just has a little bit. Pacheco has 80 yards in the ground. No, you know, nothing crazy. That's the only way Mahomes wins. I could see Pacheco winning. I could see Kelsey winning. Hard for me to find a route of Mahomes winning because they just don't do what we think of. Like when we think of a Patrick Mahomes performance, they just don't do that anymore. They, that's not what the Chiefs do right now. They're not this you know, 500 yard passing, four touchdowns type type team. I'd be stunned. I, I, the what, what would surprise me the most is if Patrick Mahomes goes out there and throws for like 350 and four touchdowns. Travis Kelsey's going to break the Super Bowl record for most catches, so he's going to have 15. Okay, Jesus. he's probably going to get two tutties, and uh, and, and then the, the rest are Butker kicks. So and that's four, kicks. and that's how the 23. Yes. Okay. Very good. So there you go. All right. Uh, look, I didn't come up with this. This is already written. Do you want to go on the fly here? You want? I'll, I'll go on the fly. Uh, uh, since we talk about props, I also have Travis Kelsey's over receptions, kind of tied in, but they're six and a half when I got them. Uh, he. The, what I like about Travis Kelsey's receptions is that. 
I love taking receiver reception props when the offense runs screens to those receivers. Travis Kelsey, they run so many of these formations where he'll run, it's either like a jumbo set on the outside. So it'll be like trips, but like kind of a jumbo package where Kelsey's like behind a couple of receivers and they'll run like a quick screen to him or they'll run quick screens, almost like a, like a stick route in the middle of the field. They'll run stuff like that to Kelsey. He can get three, four catches in one possession. I love taking over props with players like that because it does not take much. And if they're down and Mahomes needs it, he's going to Kelsey. He will force the ball to Travis Kelsey. Opposite side of the field, I have George Kittle over 47 and a half uh, receiving yards. I think Purdy, you know, he likes throwing to Kittle. Big game player. If if San Francisco has to throw, Purdy's going to look for Kittle, and Kittle can't make those big plays. Uh, so I have him as well. I also am looking at Christian McCaffrey's over rushes. Game script, same thing. If San Francisco is leading or if the game is close, they will stick to running the football. They will not pull a Baltimore. They will not pull a Todd Munkin. Uh, Kyle Shanahan's way too smart for that. Kyle Shanahan will get McCaffrey the ball. Last I saw, I think it was the 18 and a half carries. It's probably moved by now, but especially if they're winning. If they're winning, that's cashing no problem, right? So it's a bit of a hedge on the KC plus three, bit of a hedge on that, bit of a hedge on, on Travis Kelsey's MVP situation, but uh, San Francisco's got, they have to go through McCaffrey. I mean, it is a one, like it's a one guy thing. Their system is him. That's their key to victory. Shanahan knows that they've had two weeks to prepare. Uh, so I think they're going to, especially early on, they're going to try and get him going. I, 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 I can't bet against, I can't even think about anything to other, like, tra look, Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes okay. have to win this game okay. because it's in there. It, it's got to happen. You can't go against Mahomes. Okay. Do you got We've a, seen it. Do you got a score and you got a, an I MVP? like 2017. Okay. And who's your MVP? Oh, score. I am probably going to say Mahomes. I'm okay. taking Mahomes. All right. It's now time for my game. I mean, just an unbelievable breakdown from that guy. He just says, can't, <laughs> his breakdown is, I got to take my homes. They're going to get it done. No doubt about it. Like, appreciate it, my boy. Thank you for the, uh, the unbelievable analysis. Yeah, Rich. My game pick. Go. Here we go. Oh, Rich. Listen, <laughs> before the season, I had the Chiefs and the 49ers. I believe I chose the 49ers to win the Super Bowl. I believe you, yeah. Then I had a chance on uh, the NFL game day morning Thanksgiving show to have a mulligan. I got off the Chiefs. I had the Ravens. And I chose the Ravens against the 49ers. I forgot who I picked to win the Super Bowl because it's insignificant now. <laughs> then when the playoffs began, I had on NFL Network an opportunity to switch one more time, and I stayed put. So it's going to be the Ravens, and it's going to be the 49ers in Vegas. And then I kept taking... I did choose the Chiefs against the Dolphins. Then I took the Bills against the Chiefs. And Eric's All right, so right now, Rich Eisen has to win the Super Bowl. He's got the 49ers, the Ravens, the Chiefs, the Bills, the, the Eagles, and the Dolphins. I think I think is his pick right now. Stone Street sent me a very angry text. <laughs> and then he was telling me all week long, don't do it again, Rich. Don't do it again. And I kept hearing my friend from Modern Family. And I'm like, what does he know? <laughs> he loves the Chiefs. And I kept thinking to myself, I cannot bet against Mahomes. And I made a switch off the Ravens to the Chiefs. So here we are again. It's Chiefs and the 49ers, as I predicted before the season. And I'm going to go with the Kansas City Chiefs to win Super Bowl 58. There you go. So if the Bills, Dolphins, Chiefs, 49ers, or Ravens win to win the Super Bowl, Rich will be correct. Un very astute. They're going to win this game, and they're going to win it by the final score of 24-21. I like that score, too. I'm going to say that they're going to take the lead, and then the defense is going to make a stop to end the game. I like that, I like that game that score. that will be Ooh. the way that this Super Bowl ends. And the MVP is Patrick Mahomes. We are all rent-paying in Mahomes' world right now. I believe that's where we are. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. Will I admit it later on? <laughs> Maybe. It depends on whether or not... Bert Kreischer comes back here with his alcohol. <laughs> but that's my prediction. That is my game pick. And that was all of our game picks presented. Solid. I mean, solid game script there. Game script. I think it will be low scoring. I think both teams want it to be low scoring. It's hard to see the game flow of where it's, uh, you know, like a shootout. Because if San Francisco gets the opportunity, they are going to absolutely pound the football. They're going to absolutely crush, crush the clock. 
uh, crush, you know, try and condense the game. KC, smothering defense, we know that. Uh, and if they're up, same thing. They're going to run Pacheco. They're going to try and control the game. Uh, they, you know, they kind of throw these, the, they, they kind of, their drives are very similar. There's these long drives, they're short intermediate passes. They take up a lot of time too. Both great coaches. The coaches can, they understand game flow. They understand game script. They're not going to mess up uh, timeouts and they're not going to mess up, you know, two minute warnings going into half, coming out of halves, so all that stuff. So I, I think it's going to be a really good game. I think it's going to be a great game. I hope it's a great game. Uh, it's going to be really well played, really well coached. I mean, this is what you can ask for. These are, there are, you know, obviously neither one of these teams are my favorite teams, but as a football fan, this is what you want. You know, you want storylines and we've got storylines up plenty with the whole Travis Kelsey, you know, Patrick Mahomes' legacy. You've got the Taylor Swift angle. You've got Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant could potentially be an uh, Super Bowl MVP, Super Bowl champion. You've got Kyle Shanahan trying to finally get over the hump. You've got the 49ers as a whole trying to get over the hump. They've been the best team in the NFL for what, three years now? Uh, ever since the Jimmy Garoppolo chief situation, you got a Chiefs 49ers rematch. You've got Andy Reid's legacy. I mean, just it should be a fantastic game all around. I mean, the the whole the de- both defenses, both offenses, everything. Every time the ball is snapped, it should be enjoyable to watch. I, I hope it lives up to that hype. I hope we don't get a you know twenty one to three or a seventeen to six game. I hope it's competitive. I hope it's fun to watch. Uh, we'll break it down. More than likely, we'll break it down right after. Uh, but we'll cover the Super Bowl and all that. We'll be tweeting, live tweeting throughout. So make sure to follow the social channels down below and go into the comments. Go into the comments and let me know what you think uh, will happen. Who are you rooting for? All that stuff. What a fantastic season. Uh, been a crazy season for the channel. Obviously, huge growth, huge explosion all through the NFL season. Just because the games are over doesn't mean the content stops. Uh, the content will heat up the NFL draft, offseason moves, trades, free agents, coaching changes, all that stuff. We'll be breaking it down here. So very excited for uh, the offseason. And then another NFL season will be here before you know it. So enjoy it. Enjoy the game. Very excited for this one. Should be a good Super Bowl. Again, my bets as of right now, and I'll be updating tomorrow. or during. I'm filming this on a Saturday, but I'll be updating Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, my full betting card if you want to uh, sweat along with your boy. Uh, Make sure to check that out. As of right now, Kansas City plus three. Travis Kelsey over six and a half catches. Travis Kelsey to win MVP. George Kittle over 47 and a half receiving yards. Those are the bets right now, but more will come uh, tomorrow. I just sweated out Michigan State, and I'm sweating out Colorado tonight in college basketball to try and load up the coin for even more uh, bets on Super Bowl Sunday. Get your hot wings out. Get your nachos. Do all that. Get prepared. Enjoy it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.